Hello YouTube, this is Loyal to Law, and I'm very very thankful to Mr. Dwayne Dempsey for including me in his show, The Dempsey Show, and to all the audience, I'm so grateful that I'm here to speak to you all, and um, for this interview, I'm going to go straight to the questions. And first off, the throw pillows, they're not monkeys, they're teddy bears, and um, I, I'm not in the living room right now so uh, I can't show you but they are teddy bears <laughs> yeah and uh, on to the first question uh, my star sign is Virgo since I was born in September and I've been involved in the martial arts for give or take seven to eight years and uh, for the chunk of seven to eight years five years of those years um, I've been doing solo training and because um, due to life circumstances, not personal. Um, I've been trying to find a dojo or a martial art gym that I can join to that can relate or at least um, be compatible enough to my uh, background martial art, which is Okinawan Shorin Ryu Karate, which I had a brown belt on um, under Sensei Fraz Lopez. And because of that, um, I couldn't find any martial arts dojo, so I did solo training instead, since I love martial arts so much. So, uh, other styles that I've studied, I'm doing uh, Bagua Zhang right now under Sifu John or Joseph W. Eager. And I just tried it a while ago this morning, and it was so awesome! <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that Chinese martial arts are really that good. If you're really into that deep and practicing and you really love martial arts, you really you really appreciate doing other kinds of martial arts other than the martial arts that you already know. And um, I also did or learned basic Arnis, basic Kali or basic Eskrima. They're actually one. Under Sensei Fras Lopez also. And um, I didn't really go to the extensive training of Arnis since um, there were a lot of students and the schedules of different people can't really be mashed together easily. So the classes have to be divided every week if they are Arnis classes or Okinawan Shorin Ryu Karate classes. So there. And um, I've been doing empty hand techniques instead for uh, progressing in Arnis and um, in future videos you're going to see me actually doing free flowing and shadow boxing using empty hand Arnis. So, yeah. Why do I have Loyal to Law as my name? My YouTube name. Um, Loyal to Law originally came from the concept of uh, one Tekken character. Tekken is a arcade game or a fighting game, if you will, in video games, in the video games genre. And it was made by Namco, the company. And obviously, I'm a, te a Tekken addict or Tekken uh, enthusiast. And I've been playing Tekken for quite some time now and I've been sticking to only one character and that's Law which is my main character for all of, for those of you who know the game yeah rock on <laughs> so yeah that's where I get my name loyal to Law and uh, what really made me more inspired for me sticking to that name loyal to Law since I decided one on one point to change the name and just make a whole new channel altogether was when Tekken 6 came out and you'll see that Namco really made a huge change to law. And they really put up the standards right there. So yeah, I'm not gonna give it away for the thrill for thrill's sake, you can just view it for your own to see why law was so good uh, in Tekken 6. Um my favorite technique would be techniques that can not knock your opponent out, uh, defuse the fight, or let 
your opponent submit. You can uh, say that uh, techniques, martial arts techniques that I like would just to stop the fight. That's it, period. Stop the fight as quickly as soon as possible. No questions asked. And um, that's it. <laughs> as long as you don't kill your opponent and as long as you just defended yourself, that's fine. I'll take those techniques. And um, I'm just reading your questions here right down, so... Ooh. Favorite style. Now, this is entering quite into martial politics. Um, here's the thing. I don't believe that um, a certain person should have a favorite martial arts style. Mainly because if a person enters into a martial art world, into the martial world, that person embraces martial art in its entirety. That person embraces every single martial arts style that's been out there for centuries or decades. Even the youngest martial arts disciplines out there. That person will embrace it. The concepts of it. And it's that person's decision on which martial art that person will love to do. That's choosing. Favoriting is declaring martial art A or martial art B to saying that mar this martial art is the best and the rest are just uh, made up or are just jokes. And that's unfair and painful and it causes arguments, it causes severe fights and then there then martial politics erupts from there. So for me there's no such thing as having a very favorite style. There sh there should not be a thing about favoriting a martial arts style. It's not about the martial arts, it's about the martial artist. And that should be clear. By now, for those who are still continuing to argue, which martial art is the best, or which martial art should be the greatest and stuff. So yeah, I don't have a favorite martial art. If I have one, it's the martial art that I would love to train for the rest of my life. I would like to pass on to the future generations, my children, my grandchildren, my grand grandchildren, so on and so forth. Martial arts to me as a person is a huge chunk that should be added in a person's life and the reason is not only does it give you self-confidence a boost of self-confidence it also helps you in your health and it changes the way you look at life at times it changes the way you see things it changes the way you even see food or you even see personal activity it changes everything your perception on almost everything and um, it also uh, cuts away or almost removes the instant gratification because when you're doing martial arts of course we know that if we train harder we're going to reap more benefits in the end and all of that stuff we're going to get better do better techniques and that then that's what martial arts teaches us and that's only one aspect if I'm going to explain it all it it'll take what a couple of videos more for just this subject but for now that's only one aspect so yeah it really it should be added in a person's life because of those things that I just said and um, this is going to be I think two or three part videos so yeah, I have to cut on this one, so part two next.